Yo guys, how are you doing? So it's 25th of July today. It's already 11 o'clock. We're gonna go to sleep in a bit, so I just wanted to do a little video before um, before I go to bed. Um, came back yesterday from from LA uh, from our pre-season tour. Um, it's been an eventful one, to be honest, because. Uh, more basically, I've finally been back on the pitch, which um, has been it's been a, a great milestone to to reach. Finally, I've done around around six sessions outside over there, two sessions a week and on the grass, and three sessions a week um, doing gym and stuff. Um, starting to run. It's been. The first day was crazy. First day was very, very kind of emotional, and um, I don't know. It was like it was very weird because the first day felt really, really well because obviously I think it's because it was just the first day. You're so excited, thinking about like, oh, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run, and um, you don't. It's like almost like you don't feel the pain, and then the couple of sessions after, especially one of the days in Washington, in which like I kicked the ball and stuff, um, it sort of got really achy for like two days, which was really annoying, and it's been like a bit like very exciting at the beginning, then all of a sudden this happened in Washington, then the last few days were uh, much better, so. It's a bit of a roller coaster, which like I already know that like, it's gonna be like that all the all the time. But um, we've reached the milestone, which is the most important thing. And um, yeah, it's been it's been great to be on tour with the boys. Um, because it's one of the things that you miss the most, kind of that the hotel life. Um, you know, the dinners with the boys, the chats, the um, just being being involved in that routine, you know, of like, uh, you know, in half an hour I have to go to a meeting and you learn about another team and then, you know, you eat with the whole team and then you got time to rest, you got your time for yourself as well in the hotel, which like I really, it's really useful for me as well, which I really, really like to read a lot and, and stuff in, in those times. So it's been nice to be involved with it. We've been really busy though. We've been doing a lot of commercial stuff, which happens in... In pre-season, sometimes, in my point of view, sometimes even way too much. But it is what it is. We know what we signed up for when we decided to <laughs> to become footballers, so we know it's part of it. But um, yeah, especially in pre-season tours when you go to another country, um, it's not too much. The ones with the fans, the ones with the fans, obviously, we'd love to do because we know so many fans um, that have the chance to come to the UK to come and watch us and and stuff like I went to. So I went to a pub to to watch when the team played in Denver. Um, it wasn't planned or anything. My boys were there. They were like, hey, "You have to come." There's only like ten, fifteen people here. Don't worry. Don't hustle. You will be cool. And it was actually really cool. I was really happy to to do it. And um, I met a few of of the members of that pub. You know that they open sometimes on like Saturdays at like three a.m. just to watch us play and stuff like that, which is like really really cool. And um, they told me their stories and how passionate they are about about Arsenal and how much they want us to do well. So, you know, for us it's like very beautiful to see. So those events are really, I really really like when when we get to meet the fans. It's just like sometimes we need to take like lots of pictures, lots of videos for the new things that are coming out, new kit, new this, new that. And sometimes it can get a bit too much because you know when you're training. It's obviously really you have to focus on like um, getting fit up for the season and stuff. But when you're doing rehab, it's even more like I really need my time. You know, like I'm I'm not just training just to be fit again. I'm training to like recover from my injury. And sometimes it's hard for people to understand that because they sometimes they don't realize how important it is for us um, that our body is rested, that our mind is rested, that you know, especially in rehab, you have to be like very meticulous with like your timings and your food, and and sometimes these tours are so like 
people are so busy there's so many people you have to do so many things that people lose track a little bit of that which is a bit frustrating at times but anyway the most important thing is as I say that our um, the boys did really well in preseason I thought especially the young boys they did they did great um, it was really sad because uh, Marco Asensio got injured he did his ACL as well and I couldn't really I couldn't really talk to him because uh, when the game finished he was already on his way to the hospital so he texted me a bit worried after the um, after the um, after the well it was the day after the game and he was like oh so how do you how does your knee feel now how you know do you feel like it's back to normal and stuff and I'm just like got back into into the pitch you know so I told him now nah, man for me it's still like it feels a bit weak and it still feels a bit weird but you know it's getting better every day it's all part of the process and stuff and I remember like all those questions that he was asking me was the same questions that I was asking myself or I was asking other people that had gone through ACL injuries before that question like does it feel the same you know everyone's so worried about does it feel the same and I feel like every day it feels better and better so it still doesn't feel the same but I'm sure it's going to get there really soon and um, yeah my boy Danny Ceballos has signed on loan which like I've been talking to him for for a while he's um, been asking me for advice and stuff and I mean we more than like just teammates you know we, we got on really well off the pitch and it's one of them players that, even though we've never played together in the same team, we always like keep in contact. And you know, when we when we used to meet up with the national team on the Monday, we always used to meet up on Sunday and go for dinner together and stuff with a few other players. But yeah, we have a very good relationship, and I'm very happy he's gonna be here, man. I'm gonna take care of him wherever he needs, and I'm sure he's gonna be a great, great, great addition. And now that we're back in the UK, I think in like. Two months and I should be back training and like back kind of available. That is my goal um, to be available available for the twenty second of September. So at the moment, everyone thinks is um, I'm capable of doing it. Like the knee is responding well to it. Um, so yeah, let's see. All right, I'm gonna go to sleep now um, because tomorrow. Because tomorrow we've got training, we had the day after today, we come back yesterday, so yeah, tomorrow I'm back in, man. Peace.